wait and subscribe for mummy's YouTube channels and hit the bell. What's up y'all? So I just wanted to quickly talk about my journey so far on YouTube and what my experience has been like as a small micro size channel. Because as you can see by this number, as of this time, this is how many followers I currently have. And I'm proud of these followers. Thank you for following and subscribing to me. I appreciate you and I will continue to do this work. So I truly hope that you decide to watch from beginning to end the entire video of my journey because it is me expressing the realities of my experience and i feel like it might resonate with some it may not be for all but know that any of you that have decided to subscribe and stick with me for this long you are appreciated on so many levels i think you give me that drive and sometimes i'll be looking at those analytics and i see those numbers jumping and i'm like yeah you know what i think i could do this maybe i only hit so many subscribers in my lifetime but those that i do hit that decide to tune in i appreciate it man and trust it's all love I hope to grow from here but in the meantime just take a moment and watch this little tidbit about my journey so far and if you you know want to rock with me stay tuned because i got so much to share i started I playing with video and i do nails as a nail tech my channel is about nails locks and light oh my hair is looking good today my nails are kind of janky but uh, i gotta get them done Please stay tuned and um, here is without further ado why I um, or what my journey is like so far on this beautiful YouTube platform. All right. Thank you so much, y'all. Now, because I didn't have no script, this might be a little bit all over, but ultimately the message is the same. Just watch till the end. Um, you know, your viewership actually counts. I don't know if you're aware of that. If you're a regular person that just watch, okay, so let me break it down like this. There's people that just watch YouTube, no accounts, they just watch. And then there's people that subscribe and watch and subscribe to others that are like invested. And then there's like the content people that are all over and all up in everything. <clears throat> when you watch somebody's video, whether it's for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or the entire length, it matters. It your viewership is important to us so when you click on this video no it may not be what you want to watch but you know what give the person a chance or at least give them that little bit of time i mean give them at least 10 to 15 minutes yo that's like all they ask oh my goodness um you know and it's because it helps them it helps us as creators to grow it helps for us to be seen and for us to be shared um, you know, subscribing is fantastic because, yeah, of course you want to have, you know, your your community of people, but having viewership matters. It's almost like, you know, those television ratings. People want to know that you're tuning in and you're staying tuned. And the best way to do that is to legit just watch through someone's video. I mean, sometimes it's just talking. So as I'm sitting here, if you don't want to watch me, you can kind of go do some work. But listen, leave it running in the background. Help a sister out. Just saying, um, you know, so the viewership matters. That's something that I've also recognized as part of my journey. Um, it's important that people do actually watch your content. Um, if they click on it and then they stay around for 20 seconds and click off, that kind of looks to YouTube like, oh, nobody's interested. Just, you know, don't recommend it. But if you click it and you watch through it, you allow that YouTube to say, okay, you know what? It may be of something to interest to somebody else since people are sitting through it. Let me pass it along. So your viewership matters. And trust me, I'm grateful for it. And I ask if you would continue to watch all the way through to the end, just to, you know, holla, just chill with me for a minute. I'd appreciate that straight. Deciding to run this YouTube channel, honestly, it was an outlet. It, that's essentially what it started to become for me when I initially created it. Um, I needed a space to be able to be uh, vocal about anything and everything. I mean, yeah, I have social media that can be done there, but I'm not trying to share negative per se. It's just 
what I'm experiencing and I feel like sometimes I go through things and I might feel like I'm alone and then if I share it other people are like nah man I'm on that too and I'll be like for real okay I don't feel so bad so oh I forgot I'm wearing a mic so it's um it's helpful because it's allowing me to be expressive and to be vocal and to be able to have a voice to say the things I feel I need to say when I need to say them and not feel like I need to be filtered per se. Um, but it's necessary. It was important for me to branch out. Um, my father died in 2019 very suddenly and that really change the perspective of my view on a lot of things I didn't have no holy moment it wasn't nothing like that because uh, you know it, it was just a loss uh, untimely and sad um, but you know uh, and also God rest his soul dad I miss you so bad um, he was my bestie but lost my train of thought Ooh, my bad sometimes when I talk about my dad I just lose my train of thought because my mind just drifts I told you it might be that ADHD Shh. anyways um so what I was saying was with regards to um having an outlet having a space to be able to share see something like that about my father that was quite personal but I don't know why I feel like it's okay and I feel like you know if anybody has lost a parent in their lifetime before, you know, they an un, in an unexpected manner um, or a sudden manner, I'm sure it was difficult to process. I'm probably still processing it, but I mean, ultimately, I think his energy is what's pushing or driving some of what I'm doing now, which I'm cool with. So that's why I'm rolling with the whole concept of the channel, and that's kind of why I started my channel, too. I wanted to have that outlet, that space, that ability to talk to folks who I feel like might relate and or maybe tell me or check me. Maybe folks want to come and check me and tell me if I'm wrong about something because I could be I could be concerned. <laughs> I might be wrong um, about things or maybe I need another perspective. Sometimes it's nice to have a shared lens or a different point of view from others. And, you know, so uh, all of those things encompass the reason why I decided to start this channel. And honestly, I'm not complaining about the journey at all. I am blessed. I am grateful. I'm glad that I have the ability. And <clears throat> I just want to keep it pushing and keep it sharing and just keep, you know, engaging and finding my light and finding my camera and finding my ability to talk to the people and be all right with it and be okay with you know um all of the things all of the things being being able to sit okay with all of the things <laughs> that's one way to put it and so i have my videos titled something along the lines of my youtube journey so far um the date i started my youtube journey is right here now when i began my channel i wasn't um i was really excited it was something i was like yeah let me do this you know you do the social media posting but the whole youtube thing was a different level it was more like a, this is my channel let me engage and let me share the things that i want to share uh, I think I also mentioned at some point it's a form of therapy. It's therapeutic to be able to just have an outlet to be creative. And I appreciate that YouTube offers that to me. Um, this experience hasn't been bad. It's not perfect. It's not easy, but it hasn't been bad. I mean, if you don't start, you won't know what your experience is going to be. So if anybody's interested, you know, get started if you're looking to start a channel. I have this many subscribers as of the date I'm posting this video. It's not a large number as you can see. People say they're small channels, me probably micro channel, micro, but that's okay. It will grow eventually, I hope. But you know, looking at the numbers and when you're just getting started, anything can feel intimidating. Um, but honestly, if you feel the desire to you know, get in there and do your thing, get in there and do your damn thing. Okay. It ain't nothing wrong with it. 
have that confidence in yourself to say, if I really want to start a channel and there's content that I want to share and there's something that I want to put out there to the world, let me do that. Now, in saying this, I hear a lot of content creators that are, have larger channels say things like, oh, you need to narrow down your niche. Oh, you need to choose a niche. Now, a niche is a subject topic that is specific to one type of something. So for example, my nails are a niche topic or my hair, my locks is a niche topic. Um, somebody's life could be a niche topic for all we know. This whole idea of choosing or narrowing down a niche, I get that because it allows you to attract audiences that are of like mind. But uh, I, I'm challenged by that because maybe I have, you know, undiagnosed adult ADHD. It's very possible because I'm always all over the place. But my life doesn't just consist of one type of hobby that I'm interested in doing. I'm a creative maker. So, I mean, I'm either I could be making stuff like the shoes I have on my channel or I could be doing somebody's nails. I could be dealing with hair, whether it's mine, my son's. There are so many things happening in my life. For me to just say I want to focus on one thing is almost damn near next to impossible. So I'm not saying don't have a specific something. If that floats your boat, do that. But more than that, if you have something you want to share and you have a creativity that you want to just get out, then just share whatever that is. It might be multifaceted. It might have, you know, uh, different, uh, different takes. Uh, people may or may not feel to it, but the point is you won't know unless you put it out. And also too, if you try different things, you might learn what people are feeling more than what they're not feeling or what people might be gauging towards more than what they're not gauging towards, you know? So that can actually help you into some degree. I'm not saying follow any of this. Again, I'm just talking about my experience. Um, another thing along the line of niches and, you know, following what works is I see a lot of people jumping on the trends and thinking, oh, you know, if I do a video and it's related to the trends and that will help me pop, maybe it will. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. But, you know, um, hearing that people potentially utilize that as a method to grow. I mean, if that's their means, I can't hate. Hopefully they can keep it up and it's sustainable over long term. But I mean, allow them, let them do what they do. As long as it's not interfering with you, it shouldn't matter. Again, it's a free platform. Be smart about your posts. Be smart about what you're sharing. But also, if it's something that you're passionate about, it will come out naturally. Okay, so um, something else I'm going to quickly mention is gear. Oh, shit. Hold on. Not thirsty. Okay, something else. Uh, in terms of the gear and what I use to film, um, to be honest, I have an iPhone XR, 10R, whatever the hell it is. That's legit what I'm using to film with. All right, another thing, consistency is something that I hear a lot of other creators talk about, and I do agree that it is important to stay regular on the platform. Most people recommend posting one video a week. Um, for myself, I personally haven't been doing that. I've legit posted a couple of videos. I've been more shorts. I can do daily, um, but I try to. I'm trying to aim towards posting one video a week. Uh, it's a lot of work. It is also a lot of time, uh, and I, as a parent, it's challenging. Yes. not just a parent, a parent and a worker, I got a job. So, I mean, it's not always easy to just fit it in to be able to produce the videos, but I mean, ultimately, maybe that's what the word producer right means. Damn, I'm slow. Anyways, <laughs> produce the videos and then, um, you know, uh, it, it's time consuming. So, I mean, I get interrupted <laughs> regularly. I, um, you know, uh, have other things happening. So it's not, I take clients. So it's like, it's not something that I can say I've been able to do, but I've made time, made more time to do it. Like I put and I do a schedule, not a calendar or, you know, maybe that might help me grow at some point if I wanted to go full time or something, but 
um, I do at least try to arrange one video for a week, plot it, plan it, set it, work on it every day, a little bit at a time, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, devote some form of time towards working that video. And then hopefully by the end of the week or by the weekend, I have it situated where it's a quick final edit and then it's out. Uh, that's, that's hopefully the plan, but again, it may not work out. I'm just doing what I can with what I got. Um, and my kids are demanding. They have requirements. I'm, it's, it's, it is what it is. Um, and I'm not complaining. You know, I feel like it's important to find time to schedule things for yourself that you like to do. And fortunately, you know, um, I am able to find that time. Like, I don't know if you can hear the background noise, but my kids downstairs like blaring Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. By the way, that's a fire movie. So is Across the Spider-Verse, fire, fire movie. But, you know, um, if I fit it in where I can, I make the time for it when I can, and I just make a conscious effort to actually make that time. And I feel like if you want to do this, that's something that you need to be able to do. Because I don't think it's going to fly where you can get away with not really putting in that effort and time to create the actual video content that you want to put out there. You've got to put in the work that that is for a requirement. How much time you choose to put in is on you. I mean, I guess the results will speak for itself, right? If, if you put in the work, you'll get the results. Um, so do what works for you within your schedule, but don't kill off yourself to just go post, 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 and you aren't really making an effort to make it quality, or maybe that's your thing. I don't know. This um, thing. like I said, you nice. know, I do hope that in time, my channel will grow. I do hope that I found my community. I do hope that I am able to engage with my audience. I do hope that I learn to find the damn lens of the camera. So I don't feel like I'm looking crossways because this is new to me. But it's a process, see? And I think all of that is part of the creative learning journey. And part of my channel is to share love, to spread love, to talk about nails, talk about hair, talk about life and the experiences that I've had, rolling solo in the city and just trying to, you know, figure shit out. But I, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said the S word. Oh, I'm going to beep it out. I could do that. I forgot. I can edit now. See? But you know, I hope that I can grow my following on this channel at some point in time. I do hope that, you know, anybody that's interested in starting a channel is not discouraged by the fact that they have low numbers or low viewership. Not everything, you know, is overnight. Things will come in time. Some people are successful. Maybe they do hit that overnight something. I don't know. But again, one thing I've learned from more of the smaller channel creators than the bigger ones uh, is that... If you don't do it, it's not going to come. And I hope that for you, this gives you some level of encouragement to do what you feel to do so that it can come. No fancy edits are going to be on this video. You know, I just really wanted to come to you one to one and have a simple conversation. And again, express to you what my journey has been like. Um, it is true that the YouTube studio app can be addictive. You could post something and be on there literally every five seconds, every five seconds that the numbers go up. The, don't do that to yourself unless you, <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to, it's available, but it's not going to help none, you know? Um, don't focus on the numbers, focus on the quality of the content that you're creating so that you could draw people back. I like to talk to people. I remember one time somebody told me, oh, you know, I could see you in a stadium talking to millions of people and motivating and this and that. And I'm like, really? Maybe. But until then, this is my platform. And if you found me here, I would definitely appreciate for you to like and subscribe. Because again, it's all about the positivity, the sharing and the building of the community. So in the meantime, between time, as Alia must know, I am ready to call it quits. I'm tired. I decided to film this because I had some face and I was like, yeah, you know, let me uh, use that to my advantage. I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's been a rough day. Um, but even still, I felt it was necessary to just come on here in the raw and direct and just let y'all know what's up. So 
Um, you'll hear from me again shortly with one of these. I think I'm liking the idea of speaking to the camera and having this type of conversation because it's helping me to grow outside of my shell and helping me to venture into a space that I am not accustomed to. And that's okay because, you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable and it's okay. So I appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you've made it this far again, I'd appreciate your support. If you're interested, uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications and all the fun stuff like my son said in the beginning. And other than that, keep your head up. Stay positive. Don't follow after other people. Don't worry about other people. Worry about yourself and do what you need to do to get what you need to get. And on that note, I appreciate y'all. Thank you again for your love and support. Stay blessed, y'all, until I see you on the next one. Deuces.